I am super excited to welcome an absolute legend with a smooth, velvet, godlike voice and who oozes suave and sophistication and celebrated a whopping 40 years in the music biz and still shining his light brightly. It's Tony Hadley. Do you want to be my publicist? <laughs> <laughs> I could have made it. <laughs> Tony, it's thank an absolute you. joy to have you on my show and thank you so well, much for joining me and congratulations on 40 years and what better um, way to celebrate than the tour that you're doing now and releasing a book. Yeah, new single. It's been crazy at the moment because the new single Because of You has been out and the book My Life in Pictures and the tour. Um, I mean, the tour should have happened a couple of years ago. Yeah. So um, so, uh, so it's actually probably the forty-second anniversary. Yeah, <laughs> I think for me and I think for most of the, the band and people around me, you can't believe that forty years have passed. I mean, you just don't. It, it, it's just incredible how quickly time goes. And it's it's been funny when I've been looking at the book, looking at pictures of when I was sort of eighteen, nineteen with the lads in the band. Um, it, most of those pictures I can remember as if as if it was yesterday. So, oh really? It, 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 Great celebration. Shows are going really well. Two hours, all the hits and more and a few surprises. A a few stories there as well. So it's kind of nice. Was it hard to um, choose the pictures? I guess that took a bit of collating for the book. Yeah, I I think what I wanted and what we wanted was not a, a collection of pictures that had already been in the public domain, you know, just posed pictures. So we asked all the photographers, uh, can you give us anything that's never been published, all the behind-the-scenes thing, you know, great picture of uh, myself and the Spano boys having a donut, I think, near the Brooklyn Bridge in the, in the middle of a photo shoot, you know, because we're all big, <laughs> we're a bit hungry. So, um, so yeah, things like that, backstage shots, me in Italy with a great singer, rapper called Caparezza, wearing a pink wig. Uh, I mean, I look ridiculous, but, um, but it's fun, and uh, that's what the book's meant to be. So you're sort of searching through boxes and holding up negatives to the light to find interesting shots. Yeah, anything that's, yeah, actually that, that did happen. And, and my mum moved house as well. So that was another, uh, we had to move all the pictures out of the attic and everything and go through different bits and pieces. So there's pictures of my grandmother in there, my mum and dad, and me and my brother and sister when we were kids. And, and right up to present day with the fabulous TH band, uh, my, all my kids, all my five kids, my wife, Ali and stuff. So there's there's a bit of every everything in there, really. Yeah, it's nice. What a lovely way to document your life and that, you know, go down as another piece of history. And really, I mean, you've had such an incredible career, haven't you? You know, toured the world, met some amazing people. And, you know, really with Spando, it was such a defining time musically and politically and, you know, the whole buzz of the 80s. Um, and so when you look back at all that now, you know, you said earlier, it almost goes by so quickly. What Do you have any highlights? Oh, the stacks of highlights, yeah. Like I mean, you, did, you know, Yeah, so many things you've done. Signing your record deal, you know, when you're 20 years of age. I mean, that's every, every musician's dream come true. So yeah. And Live Aid. Um, there's Live Aid and- must have been surreal. What was that like? Um, well, it was surreal, to be honest. It was one of those events. I mean, anybody thought Band-Aid would lead to Live Aid. Uh, we didn't, you know, we thought, well, we're doing a good thing and we're helping out. But I don't think anybody actually thought that we would lead to, you know, Live Aid, you know, around the, you know, globally in London, Philadelphia. I don't, I don't think ever, anyone thought that at all. But it was amazing. Great atmosphere backstage. I mean, there's all your heroes, all your, your, your kind of heroes from Top of the Pops. Paul McCartney, Phil Collins, the Queen Boys and everything, Freddie and the lads. So yeah, it was it was it was a great event, but it was one of those events where you were so nervous it just went past in a nanosecond. Oh really? The day was up. You, know, you know when you're really looking forward to something and you're nervous. It, it's it's never around for long enough. Yeah. I suppose you look back now at the footage and think, you know, that was me, I was there, I did that. Well, to be honest, a lot of it I can't remember. If I'm honest. <laughs> Having too it, good a time. <laughs> yeah. But it also, uh, I, I remember being incredibly nervous before we went on stage, thinking, "I don't want that clown to come over the satellite or whatever," you know. But yeah, I can imagine. Event. But there's been uh, there's been so many. I mean, you know, just the fact that you know, I've even survived in this business for over forty years is a miracle. 
it's it a really pretty is. Cool yeah, fun. it's a tough business, isn't it? And you know, you're still going strong, which is wonderful. And and the tour now. So you're sort of you've just started the second half of this tour, haven't you? Yeah, I think the how many how many was the seventh or eighth gig? I think seventh or eighth show. So we've got another, about ten to go. Uh, 10 or 11 to go and then we start the festival season um, and I've also got to do all the vocals for the new album as well yes um, how's that quite, coming uh, along <laughs> because of you the single we've just released has yeah. done brilliantly playlisted and, and it's been it received on the radio yeah. uh, fans are now singing along to it which is fantastic and um, so yeah I've just got to uh, all the songs are written just got to finish the vocals so it's yeah. down to I've got to stop yeah. for it. Well, well, you're a busy guy, aren't you? But it looks like you're having so much fun with the tour. So tell me about the fabulous TH band then, because you seem to be great uh, friends, such a happy uh, band. Hi! Oh, look, I'm getting to meet all the boys as well. This is fantastic. Are you having a nice time in Torquay? <laughs> um, yes, we are. It's all <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I've only got Ribena. Look, that's all I've got to keep me going <laughs> until later. I'll have a little drink for you later. Yeah, no, we, we we have a great time. I mean, that's the great thing. We're all great mates and stuff. And we've been, I mean, Phil Williams, P-Dub, we call him. Um, I said to him the other day, how many years have we known each other? And he said to me, I think it's over 30 years. Wow. So, so we go, some of our crew guys have been with us 20, 25 years. So we all go back a long, long way, which is, is fantastic. So it is like a, you know, we're on a sleeper bar. So it's, it's a real kind of family affair. Yeah. It's good that you get on so well, you know, because you are together 24-7. And as you say, it's like a family. And, you know, it's tough. It's tough on the road. Obviously, you've not been without your differences with your last band, have you? You know, things happen. <laughs> Just a tad, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen, at the end of the day, as I say in the show, we had some fantastic times. And I wouldn't be on stage now if it wasn't for, for, for the boys in Spandau. You know, unfortunately, like some things, it, it went very pear-shaped again. Uh, but that's life and that's the way it is, you know. That does um, happen with bands. Yeah, I'm just really happy with what I've got. And um, and myself and Fab TH band, we all get on great. We have a good time. Uh, brilliant musicians. Uh, and the stage show is great. I mean, as I said, we, we do all the hits through the gold, through the barricades, everything else. But a few surprises in there as well. That sounds so exciting. I cannot wait. And it really does make a difference. You know, if the band are having a brilliant time, they all get on well, then that really transfers that positive energy to the audience. The crowd believe it. You know, that's authentic, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think I think a, a crowd can see if you're not having a good time. I mean, I, yeah. I think it's really good. And, um, you know, we, because there's no, there's no pressure on anybody. With everybody, they're all fantastic musicians. So everybody knows what their job is. And we, we're always trying to improve the show all the time. Uh, and very often, uh, one or other will say, look, you know, can we rehearse that bit a few more times? We think we can get it better uh, or change the arrangement. And, and that's the sign of a great band. It is. Yeah, absolutely. And you're doing the fall orchestra dates as well later on in the year, aren't you? Because that's kind of a different mix, isn't it? Well, this is, this is, um, this is the sort of rock... Uh, kind of band uh, stage of things. Um, so 36 uh, north, south, east, west. I mean, we're going to all the places we visited in, in years. I mean, Simon, you were saying 17 years we've been here in Torquay. Yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, so a couple of time, and we've got four orchestral shows at Manchester, Birmingham, South End, and finally at the London Palladium in October. Awesome that's, stuff. That's, and then you're going to put your feet up. No, you're joking. <laughs> you're going off to do more. <laughs> uh, and well, before that, we're in uh, Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, Japan. You're doing so. festivals over the summer and everything, aren't you? Do you do yeah. something in November then as well? I think we're trying to play in Germany. We're looking at Germany. Okay. And it's Great stuff. Well, there's just no stopping you, is there, Mr. Hadley? Well, I think the thing is, if you if you love what you do, and I still do, I still get a kick out of it, um, you know, it, it, it's tough on the families because you miss your wife and children and everything else, and and but that's kind of tough. But it, it's what we do, and it's what you know. We just love it. 
Absolutely. Still going strong, 40 plus years on. Tony, you look like you're having a lovely time. The sun is shining. You're out having a pint with your oh. bandmates. What could be better in life? Honestly, you bring the sunshine. You bring so much joy to so many people all around the world. Thank you so much for chatting to me today. Yeah. Absolutely delighted. Come go if you fancy it. Absolutely. I would love, love, love to. Yes. What's the nearest show to you? Well, it's on Wednesday at the Derngate Theatre and everybody should come along because there are still a few tickets left to come and see you. And you come as well. You'll, I think you'll enjoy it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tony, best of luck with the rest of the tour and the book. Happy anniversary. <laughs> and yeah, live the life to the full. It's absolutely brilliant. All the best. Well done. Bye. Bye. bye chaps have a good gig tonight <laughs> see ya <laughs> see ya bye 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 thank bye. you <laughs> thank you